StarCat Take Control with Simple Management StarCat software deployment features save both time and money by making it easy to deploy software remotely. In this demo, we'll use a drag and drop method to easily install software over the network. We'll also show you how you can schedule a software deployment for a larger group of users. So let's begin. In this first demonstration, we'll show how easy it is to install software using a drag and drop method. Let's assume we get a call from Mike who wants us to install Adobe Reader on his PC. We can basically go over to our resources tab to see what software packages are available. Here we can see the Adobe Reader package is available. However, if it wasn't, it'd be easy to add it. We can just create a package and walk through a little wizard and within a few steps we'll have that software package available. But since the Adobe Reader is already ready, we can just drag and drop this software package onto Mike's computer. And this will initiate the download of the software to Mike's computer as well as run the executable so that it gets installed. Now if we want to verify that the software got installed, we can easily refresh the software inventory to get a real-time view. We just go to data and choose refresh the software inventory. Normally the software inventory would be updated automatically every few hours, but in this case we want to expedite the process. So we can see a notification has popped up, meaning it has detected a change. We just double click on Mike's computer to bring up its details. And under notifications, Sure enough, it's telling us that it's found some software, which is the Adobe Reader. We also can go to the Software tab to see a full list of the software, and of course, the Adobe Reader was installed today. If we wanted to uninstall it, it would also be equally easy by clicking the Uninstall button here. But we have verified that the Adobe Reader was installed successfully. For this second demonstration, we'll show how we can deploy software for a larger group of users. We'll do this by opening up the Software Deployment tab. And here we see a screen where we can schedule a software deployment. So I'll go ahead and add a new software deployment. And it gives me a wizard to walk through. And we'll basically install the Adobe Reader again to a larger group of users. I'll just walk through this wizard. Here I have the option to push the software to the users, or I can give the users notification and they can choose when to install it. How many times I should retry the deployment as well as how much time to wait between tries. We'll keep the defaults. We'll also keep the defaults and install it immediately. There's other options we could use here. And then when we want to schedule this deployment, we'll just keep today. And that's now complete. And we have a software deployment. The next step would be to choose which computers we want to install this on. I can do this by right clicking and choosing to add devices. And that pops a window where I can choose what groups of users I want to install the software. I'll go to the My Departments tab and choose to install it just for the IT users. That shows all the devices that are part of the IT users group. You can see the current status is stopped. So I'll come up here and choose to start the deployment now. And this will actually start the deployment. We can see both devices are now currently being deployed. Now through the magic of video recording, I shortened the process, but you can see both devices have now been successfully deployed. Now I might want to verify that the software deployment was successful. To do that, we can go over the System Management tab, and sure enough, we can see there's been notifications on the two devices that had the software deployed, indicating there has been some change. We could double-click to see those changes, but that might be too difficult if there's hundreds of PCs we had to deploy to. So instead, we'll use the Report Manager. So we'll go ahead and load that up. And there's a wide variety of reports, but we'll go down to the Notifications and check Notifications on Applications. And sure enough, here it's reporting that both devices found the Adobe Reader on them. Other reports we could check would be under Deploy Software and the Deploy Software Log. This will again show us the status of the deployments. And again, we can see the Adobe Reader was successful. If we wanted to drill down by type of software, if we had lots of different software being deployed, we can also see it by software name. So this would be the Adobe Reader, and sure enough, both devices were installed successfully. 
I hope you can see that using StarCat makes it easy to deploy software on a device by device basis or you can also schedule the deployment to reach multiple devices at the same time. Appreciate your time and thanks for watching. StarCat, take control with simple management.